Welcome to the General Assembly of this session, MEP session in Kaliningrad. I would like to thank you all, dear delegates, for having worked so hard on your resolutions. I've been visiting the committees during the last couple of days, and I've seen that you've worked a lot and that you have made a great effort to come up with the best ideas for your resolutions today. Important political issues were on the agenda as 60 young people gathered in Kaliningrad, Russia, to take part in the conference Model European Parliament Baltic Sea Region in late October. And the Kaliningrad experience, which was sponsored by the Nordic Council of Ministers, left a big impression on the participants. I'll look back on it as being totally successful, a very, 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 very fun trip, and I'll definitely encourage my class to uh, to participate. I really want to go again, which says a lot, I mean. The week was wonderful. I think, uh, I guess, everyone is satisfied with the work. Four days earlier, the students from high schools in seven countries took part in the opening ceremony of the conference. Margarita Korotkevich, Deputy Minister of Education of the Government of the Kaliningrad Region, Sergei Bespereshev, MFA representative in Kaliningrad, Arne Grove, Director of the Nordic Council of Ministers Information Office in Kaliningrad, and Tatiana Misurovskaya, Headmistress of Gymnasium 40, bid the students welcome. On behalf of the organizers too, I would like uh, to thank everybody present here and uh, not least our speakers. Uh, thank you very much for the presentations. Meeting the other students and getting ready to start discussions made the students excited and a little bit worried. I'm feeling very nervous, um, also because everyone looks so sharp and it's, it's, so, um, it's very professional. Yeah, but in the same time, on the same time, we're we're all just um, well. No one really knows what we're we're going in for, so it could be anything. I'm very excited. The students were divided into committees on environment, culture and education, agriculture and regional development, where discussions took place and resolutions were drafted. The one thing uh, which we have arguments on is uh, the light bulbs and uh, how to increase uh, the salvage of light bulbs within the Baltic Sea region and um, in order to solve to save energy and uh, to decrease energy waste. What's it like to be in a group discussing these important issues with, uh, with people from different countries uh, in this region? I feel proud for being the president of this committee and of course I feel very satisfied with this work because uh, um, it's, it's real the feature of democracy when you discuss uh, such things in such um, situation so it's very good. <laughs> Expresses its appreciation of the achievements of youth and action programs and the opportunities it offers to every youth. Finland, please. It's going really, really well. Um, everyone's being really active and they're very nice. Part of the conference aim was to let the students experience a different city with a different culture. but we enjoy ourselves. Кенигсберг считался первоклассной крепостью, и Гитлер утверждал, что этот город взять невозможно. Кенигсберг was one of the best fortresses in Germany, and Hitler insisted that it was impossible to enter Königsberg. Вот напротив мы видим советского маршала Василевский, который готовится к штурму. Today is a day of sightseeing, and uh, you represent the host country. 
What's it like showing your city to the other young people? Well, at first I'm proud of presenting my city because I grew up there, I was brought up there and of course I like it very much because it's native for me. Uh, despite the bad weather, I think that uh, the excursion was good and I did well. Um, I tried to explain the interesting facts about the city and um, well, for me it's even pleasure to pre present it. I have to say that it's a privilege to have you here and we are the biggest school of the Kalinikat region. Здесь решены те проблемы, которые обычно в наших школах достаточно в большом количестве содержатся. In this school we solve the problems that usually exist in all other schools. Like maybe our school is changing and developing a lot. It's important to arrange sessions because students need needs to meet. They have different views, they have different angles and they learn different things in their own schools. So when they meet, they come together, they join, they uh, have full of energy, they meet new friends and network. They bring home uh, impressions from other countries, countries and places and towns they might not have visited otherwise, and also a better knowledge that there are other people out there with slightly different views, but it is possible to reach solutions to compromise. And finally, the resolutions that were drafted during the committee work were handed in. Okay. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Yes. Yeah. Support scholarship programs. See? And also the... Um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yes. How? To what become way? real names like this. Ooh, that's more complicated now. But no, it's not. Here you go. It needs anyhow to be printed. Then this is okay. Yeah, but then you need to put it in order also. Then she will spend a lot of time. Welcome to the General Assembly of this session, MEP session in Kaliningrad. At the General Assembly, the conference reached its climax as the resolutions were passed or rejected. Whom from the GA may I ask to present this proposal. Yes? Sorry? Finland, please. Thank you, Your Presidency. Uh, the delegates, simple enough. We express our appreciation of the achievement of youth and action programs and the opportunities it offers to every young person. Thank you, Sweden. Denmark from the committee, please. Then we will proceed directly to the voting. May I please ask the Danish delegation for your voting results? Thank you, Madam President. Uh, the Danish delegation votes as follows. Seven in favor, zero against. Twelve in favor. With 39 in favor, nine against, three abstentions, and the approval of the committee president, the resolution has passed. It was amazing. Um, I was so proud of myself and my work, but also my... Uh, my committee. I thought it was amazing when um, they had to vote, and I actually I was sort of doubting it because um, no one had held a speech uh, against our resolution, so it could really go anywhere because the discussion went pretty high when they started voting. So I was a bit anxious, but it, it went really well. What's the best part about uh, taking part in a conference like this? Uh, the best part is communication, and because uh, I can see and hear the opinions of other guys from other countries and uh, moreover we are making friends while working and um, of course the taking part in the MEP uh, gives us uh, the experience of parliamental work. Please tell me three words to describe your week in Kaliningrad. Exciting, a great experience and new friends. Stressful, exciting and educational. Social and challenging and great. Extremely educative truly exciting and really Russian. Exciting, fun and hard. 
Social, fun and educational. Exciting, interesting and um, quick.